Flight Sergeant Dave Corpening. I'm uh, one of the steer specialists here on Nellis Air Force Base. Uh, I work out of the OSS. Um, I am also part of Red Flags. So we kind of do kind of do both. September is uh, Disaster Preparedness Month. Um, so we're just going to talk to you about being prepared for disasters at home, out and about. Um, if you're out, you know, uh, enjoying all of the beautiful nature that. Southern Nevada, Southern Utah has to offer, so like mountain biking, hiking, kayaking, rafting, doing any of those sort of things. Uh, how to be prepared, whether disaster strikes, you have to um, stay out in the desert longer than you thought you might need to. Um, monsoon rolls in, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, so just kind of start out, we'll talk about philosophy of how not to die. Uh, so in SEER, which is uh, survival, evasion, resistance, and escape, uh, we teach uh, a whole myriad of things, but uh, the survival portion that we teach, um, kind of applying it to, you know, that civilian aspect, not like I'm a shot down pilot, but I'm a mountain biker who crashed and now has to walk you know, out of the bush. So we'll think about our five basic needs. So those five basic needs start off with medical, so that's physical and mental health. Uh, the mental health shouldn't really be an aspect. Hopefully you get rescued in, you know, an afternoon or a day. You're not surviving for days and days and days on end. Physical health, you know, thinking about first aid kits, things of that nature, which we'll talk about here in a second. Moving on from there, we'll talk about personal protection, which is uh, four subparts. So we've got clothing, equipment, fire, and shelter. And we'll talk about uh, finding those things, making those things, and then utilizing the equipment that you have for uh, you know maximum effect. Uh, moving on from there, we have sustenance, so food and water. Water being priority, not only because it's the desert, because it will kill you far sooner than food will. Um, next is gonna be navigation. We'll talk about knowing where you're at, staying found, and then um, how to you know find your location and move throughout the desert. And then the last one's gonna be communication. So what we teach to air crew is you know using radios, using your signals to uh, get rescue to your location. Uh, thinking the same thing, thinking cell phone, iridium devices, things of that nature that you may wanna have um, if you're out and about or in the home.